All right, good morning, good afternoon, whatever it is for you. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today is Saturday, February 12th, 2022. It is my fifth outing of the year. Today, I, uh, I'm running short on time and I decided to stop by the trout hole once again real quick. I don't like hitting holes too often. However, I'm working with what I got today and we're just gonna see if we can make something happen. So like I said, I've got about an hour to fish out here, maybe an hour and a half if I stretch it. And we're just gonna try and get as many fish as possible. Doesn't matter what it is. The goal for today is to catch multiple fish, like more than one. That would be fantastic. You know what? I'll be happy if I catch a fish because I have very limited time and I just, I'm out here just to catch some fish. So. Without further ado, uh, let's just get right into the video. Today I'm going to be using my JG Custom Rod with the Fluger President. I believe it's size 25. Well, it doesn't actually say on it. I believe it's size 25, maybe size 20, but there it is. Fluger President on the JG Custom Rod. And uh, here's today's bait of choice it is a 13 fishing mini quattro cut in half it's got two little appendages here that just wiggle a ton when you jerk it jerk it that is a weird way to say that when you jig it so uh let's see if this uh mini quattro is up to the task and let's get into it hmm i wonder if i should get down to the water that might be what i do this wouldn't be very safe, but I have my boots on and they are completely water resistant. So I'm not gonna get any water in my boots. That is a giant freaking nail right there. I don't know if you can see that. There's a giant nail right in the ground right there. That's uh that's interesting. This spot's always full of surprises. Let's uh let's actually cast. Today's actually completely different from any of my previous outings this year because I'm completely solo this time. It's my first solo outing of the year. I do love getting out, just being completely alone out here. It's kind of refreshing. And just like last time, it doesn't really seem like there's anything going on in this current, except for snags, of course. That's actually different from previous years I've been here where there's usually just giant creek chub stacked up in this current along with some common shiners the nice thing that i'm sure you all know about creek chub and common shiners is that they're pretty much the same year round they're always willing to eat aggressively and they're always willing to hit a moving bait so i can afford to work my bait a little faster at this spot it's uh, 20 degrees out of here and it's feeling like it. It's certainly colder than I'd like it to be. I wonder if that's got these fish in a mood. No reason in particular to fish a dead hole, so we're gonna cut our ties here, move on downstream to uh, that panfish hole and see if there's anything going on there. Well, the current's moving a little faster there than it was last time, but once it hits that log, it looks like it just kind of disperses, and then this hole right here is left completely still. So let's get right into this hole. Oh yeah, that looks perfect. Pushing it real slow right off the bottom. Come on. There's gotta be something in this hole. I think we came, me and Gavin came here about a month ago. And this exact hole was doing just fine. So, uh, there's, I don't think there's any reason it should be any different. This is particularly disappointing. Let's move down to the hole that I produced that last time. I don't know if you guys have ever had it happen to you where you uh, go to a spot that you know you can rely on any time of year to catch a fish and you can't even catch a fish there. That's kind of what's going on right now. 
That's how I'm feeling. Not a good feeling. Whoa, okay, okay, never mind. All right, well, just as I was saying, this day was going really rough. We pulled out a little pumpkin seed. First fish of the day. Uh, I'm feeling good now, I guess. No longer skunked. It's a start. Just a tiny little pumpkin seed. Scientific name, Lepomis gibosis. There you go. What a beautiful fish. Well, that breaks up the skunk. Five outings into this year and we still haven't been skunked. Let's get a goofy release on this guy. There he goes. Well, just as I was saying, this day was going horrible. I got a little pumpkin seed, so just goes to show. Never count yourself out. Let's keep it going, though. Hopefully, that's not the only fish of the day, because if it is, that's not really a fun video to watch. I'm sure all you uh, content creators out there can relate. When you're on the spot and you've got a fish and you totally weren't expecting to catch a fish, it's a very uh, weird thing to try and uh, work with. This has been a super weird day. That normally happens uh, in the winter time. Just having really odd days where nothing is consistent. That's the type of day it's been. But hey, I got a fish. I'm not skunked. Definition of craziness or something like that. There's definitely some truth to that. So I don't think I'll be going over to that hole again. We're gonna whip out my favorite bait of the year. The one I use all the time. The Euro Tackle Micro Grub or Euro Grub Junior. Pink color because it stands out really well. All right, we're back in the fight. All right, back again, like we never left. Pink Euro Grub going in. Let's see if this works out. Okay. All right, so there is something to the Euro Grub. <laughs> First cast in the uh, old hole with the Euro Grub, and we got ourselves another, well, not another, first of the day common shiner, but another one for the year. Man, that's pretty neat. So maybe there is something to uh, the Euro Grub over the uh, Mini Quattro. I can't exactly imagine what it'd be, but just like that, first cast back in that hole craziness I thought I felt little bites out there so where you'd expect them to be those common shiner right in the middle of that current that's where I got that one let's go right back out there maybe it was because the quattro in purple rain color was not standing out enough Actually, that mini quattro was a smaller, more finesse than this Eurogrub, so. The only real difference or advantage the Eurogrub has is its color I can, that I can think of. I think that quattro has better action. But, I just thought about it. The goal for the day has been accomplished. Multiple fish. We got more than one fish. A little pumpkin seed and a little common chainer. I'm very, very happy about that. Finally accomplished a goal for the day. Well, the common shiners beat me today. Not how I wanted that to go. It's now 4.30. I think the time is up. It wasn't the, quite the day we were expecting, but that's kind of how it's been this year. We came back to the trout hole. Uh, we accomplished our goal. We got multiple fish, but we just barely scraped by. Um, just this time of year is very funky. It's very difficult to get consistency, but I still had a good time. I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you. 
and I appreciate you, and I will see you all next time. It's a very uh, weird thing to try and uh, work with, and I just casted right into a tree. That's the kind of day it's been. If we can get this out, though, that would be preferable. Oh, we just got it out. Okay. All right. I can work with that. Oh, and I just cast it right back into the same tree. Hmm. Okay. Well, I have my jig back. And it's out of that tree. So we're chilling.